So I received my bachelor's degree in exercise science from South Dakota State University. After that, I stayed and was a graduate assistant for our strength conditioning program and then also received my master's in exercise science, nutrition, and food sciences and worked with uh, swim and dive as well as softball and was in charge of their strength conditioning programs um, for those two years. After, um, I had the opportunity to come down and be a strength conditioning coach for the Orthopedic Institute um, before D1 had opened and then um, had the opportunity to kind of transition over to D1 um, when we opened doors about a year ago on July 9th, 2016. So we're coming up on a year being open. Um, I'm also a certified strength conditioning specialist through the NSCA, as well as an exercise physiologist, certified exercise physiologist through the American College of Sports Medicine, and then I'm USAW certified um, level one sport performance coach. So I've done a little bit of everything in the realm of sports performance and strength and conditioning, kind of been in a lot of different places. So right after college, I actually worked here in town for a chiropractor and kind of ran his rehab program. It was a great experience. It really kind of laid the foundation for um, my theory and philosophy of strength and conditioning with a lot of functional movement. So I was lucky enough to work for Dr. Huber there at Active Spine and that was an, a great experience. Um, after that, I ended up moving to Arizona and ended up in San Diego and did sports performance for guys preparing for the NFL Combine and their pro days. That was also a great experience to kind of work with some of those top tier athletes. So I had that experience in San Diego and then also during an internship in college, which was at the Fisher Institute in Phoenix, Arizona. So to see that elite level of athlete was pretty cool. Um, very exciting, a lot of fun to train that type of athlete. Um, also really far away. So. I decided to come back to Sioux Falls and I ended up being a grad assistant at USD. So went from SDSU to USD, little controversy, but I loved being down in Vermilion with the Coyotes. Um, I worked primarily with track and field and I did their strength and conditioning, which they were Summit League champs a couple years in a row um, on the cross country side. So I was pretty fun and runner up um, a few years on track and field side. So. Pretty fun there, um, got a lot of strength and conditioning experience, got to see a lot of different things with women's basketball, a little bit of football, a little bit of men's basketball. Um, got to learn a lot while I was there and that was pretty fun. So now I'm here back in Sioux Falls and at D1, which I couldn't be happier about. Well, when I first got to college, I wanted to be, I didn't want to, I didn't have any desire for, I guess the physical fitness world or whatever. I wanted to do engineering. So that's what I first went into because I liked to, uh, I first wanted to do architecture, but they didn't have that then. So then I went to engineering and I don't know, kind of got scared off by that. And then I went and I was going to nursing. So I took anatomy and physiology and those kind of science courses. And then decided I didn't want to do that. Then I went back to engineering and that was electrical engineering. And that was, no, that wasn't going to happen. Um, and then after that, I kind of, I don't know, kind of started thinking, what do I really want to do? And I saw there's, it was called health promotions at first. I kind of looked into it and I was always thinking that most of my days I spent um, thinking about what my workout was going to be that day and what I was going to eat and everything like that. So I just figured, well, if that's what I'm thinking about all the time, then maybe I should be doing this for my career. So I kind of looked into it and I had a couple week deadline to apply for the health promotion and got everything in and didn't think I was gonna get an interview and got an interview, so I took the first spot and ended up getting in the exercise science um, major, when they, which they just changed to when I got in there and then from there, it kind of took off from there. And, and then from there, after I finished the exercise science, I got an internship down in Austin, Texas called Hit Center Austin, which is a facility similar to um, D1, um, they have uh, adult group fitness stuff like we're boot camps and strength classes and then we also train athletes and have the same kind of train like an athlete focus um, like we do here at D1. So I learned a lot there, worked with a lot of professional athletes, college athletes, um, Olympic, Special Olympic, um, high school, middle school, all ages, adults, pretty much everybody you could think of um, and it was a good experience. I learned a lot and 
um, I was a health and physical education major. Kind of thought I might want to go into teaching. Um, and then in my senior year, I had to write my senior thesis, we call it our SCE, Senior Culminating Experience, and I actually decided to write it on um, different training philosophies. And I, I specialized mostly, most of that in football, um, but covered a wide variety of things. Uh, and then when I started playing professionally, in the off season I started running my own training business where uh, it, it kind of started off as a handful to 10 members and then it grew to like 75 plus and um, different skill levels, different training methods and making sure I had to differentiate to the different skill levels but um, really started to develop a, a big love for uh, seeing the growth that the kids uh, gain through my, my off-season and in-season programs. Uh, I got my undergraduate degree from South Dakota State University where I was originally a, a math major. And uh, after I left college to pursue some football opportunities, I realized that that's not a degree I wanted to use. So I went back to, I went back and I uh, got my undergraduate in exercise science. Um, following that, I worked for a number of private industries um, around Sioux Falls where I did strength conditioning for, for youth athletes. Um, then I went back and I got my graduate degree in biomechanics um, and uh, spent a, uh, some opportunities uh, researching youth and development and also how, how movement patterns. Um, and uh, I also, during that time, I was also a collegiate strength conditioning coach where I uh, implemented workouts for equestrian, youth wrestling, football, uh, basketball um, up at South Dakota State. Um, and then after, after uh, college, I came back to Sioux Falls and worked in the private industry for, uh, and have been in it for about 10 years.